Hi. Now we are going to discuss a question which is slightly tricky for the students of the non-mathematical background. This is a question from December 2016 in exam question paper for Life Sciences and Physical Sciences. The question reads like this. Comparing numerical values, which of the following is different from the rest? Option 1. The ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Option 2. The sum of the three angles of a plane triangle expressed in radians. Option 3. 22 by 7. And Option 4. The net volume of a hemisphere of unit radius and a cone of unit radius and unit height. Here the question is to find the odd one out among the four given answer options. So let us consider each of the answer options separately. Considering option 1, the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. We know that circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r and diameter of a circle is equal to 2 r. Then the ratio will be 2 pi r by 2 r equal to pi. Considering option 2, the sum of the three angles of a plane triangle expressed in radius. By the angles and property of triangles, we know that sum of internal angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. And 180 degree when expressed in radians is nothing but pi radians. Now consider option 4. The net volume of a hemisphere of unit radius and a cone of unit radius and unit height. Here you have to note that the net volume means the sum of the volumes. It is not the ratio of the volumes. That is, net volume is equal to volume of the hemisphere plus volume of the cone. We know that for any hemisphere, volume of a hemisphere is equal to 2 by 3 pi r where r is the radius of the hemisphere. Also, for a cone, volume is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h where r is the radius of the cone and h is the height of the cone. It is given that for the hemisphere it is unit radius and for the cone it is unit radius and unit height. That means r1 is equal to 1, r2 is equal to 1 and h is also equal to 1. Substituting R1 equal to R2 is equal to H is equal to 1 in the equation of net volume, we will get that net volume is equal to 2 by 3 pi plus 1 by 3 pi, which is equal to pi itself. Now, option 1, option 2 and option 4 gives the value pi. Now, what is option 3? Some of you may be doubting that 22 by 7 is also the value of pi itself. But it is not. 22 by 7 is just an approximate value of pi. It is not exactly equal to pi. For the mathematicians who are watching this video, you know that pi is an irrational number. But 22 by 7 is a rational number. That itself says that pi is not exactly equal to 22 by 7. For the non-mathematics students who are still doubting about why pi is not equal to 22 by 7, I will suggest you to find the value of pi in your calculator and find the value of 22 by 7 in your calculator and take the difference of those two values. You will see that that difference is not exactly equal to 0. That means pi is not exactly equal to 22 by 7. Option 1, option 2 and option 4 is equal to pi but option 3 is just an approximation of pi. That means option 3 is the odd one out and hence the answer. This video series is primarily released as an additional resource for the readers of the book CSAR and General Aptitude and New Outlook. If you don't have a copy of the bestseller book, you can buy it from Amazon, Flipkart or Paytm. If you want more study materials on General Aptitude, you can download our free Android app CSAR and General Aptitude from Play Store. For clearing your doubts on general aptitude, you can visit my personal website www.christyvergius.it. For watching more videos on this video series, you can subscribe the YouTube channel Nigby General Aptitude. This video series was made in association with Nigby. I thank Nigby for this initiative. Thanks for watching.